Hey Virgo, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. I am the Untitled Tarot. Welcome in. I've laid out your spread this week with a combination of the Tarot of Mystical Moments and the Elemental Oracle. I have an interesting story on the board for you today. I'm really excited to get into it with you. Um, I just felt you on my spirit since last night, so I'm really excited to get into your read today. Let's pray, as we always do, and then we'll jump right into this. Very good? We're good, Virgo. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Virgos in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Virgo's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Virgo. So, we're starting out your reading today, Virgo, with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Now, this Knight of Cups is coming through a little bit like a muse today. It's very ethereal, and she has this heart harp. And so I'm getting the impression, Virgo, that you may be getting a lot of ideas, um, a lot of inspiration while you're sleeping. See how you're sleeping on this moon, right? You might not be remembering everything that's coming through for you. I actually feel in many ways like the most significant pieces you're not remembering. Um, and so you might be thinking about your dreams going, I'm not really getting some inspiration. You just might not be carrying it over into your waking life. But there is something happening because the Eight of Pentacles comes out next. And so, again, there's something going on while you're sleeping, Virgo. This muse is coming in. And whether you're remembering it or whether you're not, they seem to be bringing in some kind of creative push, some inspiration, some kind of idea. Because then when you wake up, I see you sitting at this butterfly painting and creating. And you're in a bit of this student energy. And so I'm wondering if... Lately, you've been working on some different projects or you've been playing around with a few different ideas or approaches, modalities, something like that. You do seem very fixed and focused on this energy. You are ruled by Mercury, Virgo, so you're incredibly analytical because I just see that you are paying a lot of attention to detail here. The Eight of Pentacles also brings up the idea of a lot of repetition. And so this is something that you may have been working on for a while or you find yourself being drawn to work on it a lot. Maybe in your spare time, time when you would normally spend relaxing or hanging out, you're actually investing that time into practicing or learning whatever new skill this is. There's something else here. Hold on. Hold for production. That's what it is. So with the Eight of Pentacles, it feels like whatever it is, whatever this muse is giving you, it feels like it is applying to something that you already do, you already like, you already know how to do. Because traditionally in the Eight of Pentacles, there are six pentacles above the guy at the little workbench, right? Which gives me the impression that this is a new approach or a new idea, um, a new aspect of something that you already do. Again, you already do, you already like it, you already know a lot about it, but this is um, something about it that you have yet to explore, which kind of puts you back into that novice energy, which may also be why you're very focused in working it out, figuring it out, creating it. You are a perfectionist, Virgo. I appreciate that about you. Now, the Queen of Pentacles comes out next. And so this gives me the impression that, as I was saying, this may be something that you're working on in kind of your spare time, your off time, but this Queen of Pentacles feels like the aspect of you that is on. So you go from being kind of creative, waking up, even without a specific idea, just this feeling of I should do that or I should study that more or I should go back and work on that. But then you go back to your life. And in your life, you are the queen of pentacles. You're very grounded. You're very nurturing. You take care of yourself. You're really intentional about everything. But here you feel very professional. It's like you're all dressed up. Whereas this is the energy where you kind of get to play and experiment a little more. You do feel tired in this queen of pentacles energy. And part of that tiredness I don't want to use the word exhaustion but maybe it's exhaustion live your life but some of this um lackluster energy that I'm feeling from the queen of pentacles one it may be coming through because you might actually be 
quite tired because in times when you would normally be resting right or recuperating or just hanging out you're spending that time investing in some kind of exploration creativity research discovery um so you could just be burning the candle a little bit at, at both ends right um part of the reason i also feel like you might be feeling a little bit drained is because this feels uh like very old like you've been here for a long time whatever phase in your life or whatever level you're at um, you've been there for a long time, you understand the routine, but there is something a little underwhelming or under stimulated about it. So even though you might actually have more confidence, or you might have more security, like in your day to day life, there is something that is a lot more invigorating about this sort of student energy, this creative process that you're going through a little bit behind the scenes, even if you are burning the candle at both ends and you do feel a little extra tired. It's that good kind of tired, right? Because it feels like it's for something sort of fulfilling and worthwhile. Now, the three of pentacles is coming out next. And so, and it's like, here you go right back. So it's like you're working on this in your spare time because this muse is giving you all of this inspiration or at the very least is shifting the energy. I'm wondering if there's a shifting in the energy of your heart space while you're sleeping as well, which is making you more creative. And then you go back to doing what you do best. But then as soon as that time's over, you move right back into the three of pentacles, right back into this student energy. And I love this flower. I love the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Whenever I see this Three of Pentacles, it reminds me of a pinwheel, right? And typically you have a pinwheel and you wait for a wind to come through or you blow into it in order to create that movement. It's kind of like a propeller. And so it feels like you don't really know why you're working on what you're working on. You don't know when it's going to take off. You, you don't know what's going to happen with it. But it is that feeling that something's going to happen. I have to be invested. I have to feel inspired to do this for some reason. So kind of waiting for that wind of change to come through or a wind of information at least to let you know what this is and how it is supposed to be integrated or applied into whatever it is you're already doing. Now, I also am getting the impression that as you're going from this sort of paper mache is coming in, which is funny, but this paper mache butterfly to these bricks, it's the idea of the more you're doing this, I almost called you Libra, interesting, the more you're doing this Virgo, the more seriously you're taking it, you're becoming better at it, you're becoming more proficient at whatever it is that you seem to be working on, but then I see you falling into this Hierophant card. Now, this Hierophant card feels a little bit like a librarian, this owl, right? And so it feels like you are seeking out or you were going to someone, something, seeking out some kind of assistance. One, it feels like you were consulting a blueprint, sort of asking, maybe it's this muse. Am I doing this right? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I still working on the right thing? She looks kind of, she looks a little bit tired here too, right? She's a little bit like, um, is this a smart use of my time, right? I, I'm kind of working a double shift right now of sorts. Um, there's also a lot of whys here. Why am I doing this? What is the purpose? When is the wind going to come and have this side thing take off? Or at least let me know how I'm supposed to incorporate it into the rest. Um, asking for more information. Do I need to be researching in another area? Like, is there something else I'm supposed to be looking at? It feels like this is kind of like an ongoing conversation that you are having with the Hierophant. The Hierophant also talks a lot about commitment, right? Um, and so a lot of it has to do with how much you should be committing to this side thing that you're doing, how much of your time, your energy, your resources, whatever it is, right? Really wanting to be very effective in what you're doing right now. Part of what you're also seem to be asking, Virgo, is that I keep wanting to call you Libra, which is very weird. I mean, it's all this Venusian influence that we have going on is the five of pentacles and the seven of swords. And so it does seem to be like you are asking this hierophant, how come this situation still isn't filled up? How come I'm not feeling a fullness in my life? Why is this process that I'm doing kind of on the side? Why does it feel more fulfilling than what I'm already doing? It's that sort of impression that I'm getting off of this five of pentacles and when it comes to this seven of swords there's a couple things it also could be why is there not more information coming in like why is it 
kind of a, a little bit of a difficult process. The Seven of Swords is often read as this very kind of sneaky and conniving card. And it absolutely can be. But what the Seven of Swords also talks about is like mental agility. It talks a lot about um, resourcefulness, finding an opportunity or finding a way that uh, is not super obvious to other people. And that seems to be in part a response to your questioning Virgo is why isn't my life filling me up why isn't whatever I'm doing really satisfying why am I working on these side things and part of the answer has to do with mental agility that there's something that's been missing from your life from your work Virgo that you haven't been realizing and that has been a, a contributing factor to you feeling a little lackluster or a little uninspired by your day to day. So what this you're doing in this eight of pentacles and what you're doing in this three of pentacles is partially to help fill up that bridge that gap. But part of it as well is to help improve what it is that you're already doing. Because again, whatever this is, it feels in some way connected to something that you already do. So this could be in terms of your spiritual gifts, your psychic abilities, some kind of physical work that you do, right? It's somehow it's connected. And there is something that you have been missing, right? And so this is coming in to bridge that gap, but also to reinforce and improve the quality of what you're already doing. It's just taking a new approach to it. Now, the lake card is coming up next. And this is also part of the response that the Hierophant is giving you, right? There's a lot of like who, what, where, when, and why's. And so they're trying to hit all of those points for you, probably because you'll go crazy if those aren't answered for you because that's very, very common Virgo energy. But it has to do with this lake. Depth. Part of what you've been missing, Seven of Swords is also truths in which we hide from ourselves, is that you've been missing a depth in the work that you've been doing thus far. Again, perhaps it has become so familiar, so routine to you that you're kind, you've started to sort of just go through the motions and there is a lack of passion or inspiration, but it's stemming from a lack of depth. And there's this feeling of you spend a lot of time focusing on the castle Virgo. How maybe that's where this Libra energy, the aesthetics, like how everything looks. This Queen of Pentacles is incredibly put together, right? And if you notice, typically when we look at the queens in a variety of different tarot decks, they're normally sitting on a throne. But you're not sitting on a throne in this Virgo. You're standing up. You have things in your hand, like you're you're moving, you're in action, you spend a lot of time maintaining your status quo. A lot of time making sure that everything looks good, everything's all together, but you haven't quite explored the foundation, what's underneath the castle. Now, the Four of Pentacles comes out next, and this is actually uh, like a castle, or it always feels like an estate to me. And so part of the message that seems to be coming through for you right now, Virgo, is don't pay attention to the castle. Don't focus so much on what's on the surface right now. You notice how there's these locks on the gate to this estate? It gives me the idea of preservation. Um, they're saying, Virgo, your status quo, your work, your life, all of, all of these, the aspects of your life that everyone else can see, the aspects of your business that everyone else can see, the aspects of your ability that are obvious to everyone else, those are safe. Those are protected. They're not going anywhere. We're going to keep them. We're going to keep them preserved for you while you go underneath the floorboards and look at the foundation and see where you lost that love and feeling. Like see where you um, lost track of the depth of the meaning of the purpose of what you're doing to begin with. It kind of these two energies remind me of when someone buys a house. And they spend all of this time, all of this money decorating it, making sure it looks really good, right? You got the right drapes and I love this couch and we have granite on the countertops and all this stuff. And they spend all this attention on how everything looks, but they don't pay any attention to the plumbing in the house 
or the electrical or they don't have um, an inspector come in and really deeply check the foundation and that there may be cracks and that every year the house may be slowly sliding an inch to the left because it's on swamp land. It's like it's that kind of thing. You spent so much time in action, effort, energy, making sure that everything looks really good, that everything's solid. So that way you have a rhythm and a routine that somewhere along the line, Virgo, that there were cracks forming in your foundation and you didn't realize it. And what it was doing was adding to the weight. It's like water coming up under the floorboard. It's been adding to the weight of your day to day. It's been dragging you down it's been making you feel heavy and the guidance is the house is good there's nothing wrong with the house but again we kind of need to pay attention to the foundation um though it's almost like i almost feel the higher font saying virgo you're asking us why we're having you do this extra thing over here but have you asked yourself why you're doing the main thing you do to begin with is a little bit of the energy that I'm pulling off. Now, the page of pentacles and the five of cups comes up next. So again, they're saying, don't pay attention to the top of the house. We got, it's on locks. We've got keys. It's set. Pay attention to the foundation because this page of pentacles comes out and she's in these little bare feet. Um, and normally when I think of bare feet, I think about grounding, right? It's like, get your feet in the water. Ground in the environment. Take, this feels very much like the collective field as well. It's like takes, get grounded in your energy field, in what's going on around you, in the foundation of it all, it all, whatever it all is for you. And notice some things that you had previously overlooked. Now there is a dragonfly in this page of pentacles card, which one tells me that perhaps this has to do, like I said earlier, with your psychic abilities or your spiritual gifts, right? It reminds me of how, um, in the Patreon magic school that I, that I host, I have a lot of healers in there, right? And so sometimes they can think that there's only a few modalities of healing, like they have to do Reiki or they have to do what I do when in actuality there is something very unique um, or creative or original, a new style or a new way that is wanting to come out for them, but they're kind of keeping themselves in a box. It's something like that. So this might have to do with your psychic abilities, um, your spiritual gifts, right? getting grounded in the collective field, figuring out um, a unique way to read or heal or do whatever it is that you do. Dragonflies also talk a lot about enlightenment, right? So this is a moment of kind of self-awareness and you can only have that by, by, again, getting your feet in the water, standing in the middle of the foundation and really looking around and taking an accounting because the empress comes out. And so I noticed the flowers in the water and I noticed the flowers on this empress as well. And it's the idea of, what is feeding the growth, right? It's like, if the soil is good, the crops will be good. So it's like, take a note of the energy that's around you. Take a note of the collective energy. What's in the underbelly? What's not um, on the surface? What isn't so apparent that other people aren't noticing that you haven't previously noticed? Because that is the thing that is feeding the growth that is around everything. Your growth industry growth, business growth, personal growth, spiritual growth, all of it. Take note of that because if you're able to do that, then you can move into this two of pentacles, which is you, again, very much back in society. Cities are hustle, they're bustle, they're busy, right? There's a lot of energy, there's a lot of exchange happening here. But in this two of pentacles, you're able to kind of stay above it all. And I'm wondering if that is what you were trying to accomplish with this queen of pentacles by having a set way, a set routine. But because there is a lack of creativity or innovation or experimentation, or again, not being super aware of like the undercurrent energies that were driving you, the extent of all the energy around you was draining you. So instead of staying on top of it and feeling really stable, you just felt even more tired. Whereas again, if you're able to get bare feet grounded in the energy, see what's underneath that other people aren't seeing. You'll know exactly what has been feeding the collective, what has been feeding your growth, what has been feeding your projects. And you will be able to then get above all of the noise. And I always see this as like a satellite card when I look at this two of pentacles. You'll be able to pull in 
the intuitive messages, the intuitive guidance, and you will be able to do more with it because you'll also understand the underbelly current energy. So you'll be able to come from both poles, the high and the low, above and below. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense for you because you have the fire ignition card coming up next. And it feels like once you're able to do that, there is this activating moment. There is this coming together where the new thing, it's kind of the um, the winds of change, um, whatever it is that you were hoping to come in to kind of move this propeller forward it finally hits and I just notice her feeling really energized all of a sudden all of this yellow all of this red it's like that the, all of the lower chakras coming in and I notice her staring at this and it reminds me of being able to see all sides of a situation all of the symbols all of the components right? What is happening around you? What's happening inside of you? Why you're doing what you're doing? Having a new depth to the work that you do because you have a deeper understanding of it and self. You're able to very clearly pull in the needs, the messages. Um, you're, be, you're able to hit it from all sides, which allows you to sit very confidently on top of the energy like you were trying to do with the Queen of Pentacles. But it's almost the idea of moving more into the Queen of Wands, feeling really passionate, feeling really vivacious, feeling really energized, like ready to take it on because the last card in your reading is this Ace of Cups. And so it's funny how you go from being submerged in the water to halfway in to balancing on top of it. And I like that your reflection is here because it gives me the impression that the underbelly energy is a perfect mirror to your energy. That what's going on in your collective field is a perfect mirror to you because you understand, <coughs> excuse me, Quabby. because you understand all of the components of it. And that in and of itself allows you to actualize the change that you want. And it makes me wonder if that was maybe the problem before Virgo. And we're going to wrap this up, but just stay with me for one more second. You maybe have been wanting a breakthrough or a change or something to come in for you, which is why this muse showed up to begin with and started doing all this stuff for you in your dreams. And I'm wondering if what it was that you were trying to do before the breakthrough, get people to pay attention to you, like expansion, whatever it is. I wonder if the magnitude of it was so big that it would it was hard for it to be absorbed by the people around you society at large the community the industry whatever it is and now that you understand the components of the energy of the foundation and the house you have the ability to take what was once beautiful but huge a, a huge magnitude and able to condense it into smaller pieces that are more easily digestible to other people does that make sense? I hope that makes sense for you. It's being, it doesn't lose any quality. They're both still butterflies, but this allows you to have a greater reach because instead of one big butterfly, it's a lot of little ones. And if anything, they actually catch the eye better because my, oh, just like my nails, because they're, they're yellow, right? They have life force energy in them, which is why I was saying there is this feeling of you moving from the queen of pentacles to the queen of wands. And it's because you are able to balance between the surface and the depth by understanding all of the components of the energy that go into it. Yes? Yes. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I am going to go do an extended reading for you. If you're interested in your extended reading, the link will be at the top of your description box as well as your December monthly reading. Consider joining us on Patreon. We have all the extended, all of the monthly spiritual development work shop and I do offer personal services so if you're interested on something like that my information is below I love you thank you for being here with me I will see you again very soon goodbye